First question is from Ren Amimaya. How do you make your biceps appear thicker when viewed from the front? I've been doing wide grip curls and pull-ups, but only the peak seems to grow. Okay, so in some cases... Get close to the camera like so. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> That's an arm right there, Justin. You always hide those bad boys. Uh, so here's the here's the issue. with Some muscles you can target and shape because they're large and because they have attachments that are a little further away from each other. For example, theoretically, you could work more of the upper chest than the lower chest just because of the attachments here on the sternum. The biceps, it does have two heads to it, so there's two main segments of the bicep, but they attach at kind of the same uh, place. So thicker, more peak, really you're just developing the bicep. Now, that being said... Yeah, but what about like... Um, the brachialis? Yes, the brachialis, which runs underneath, and then that's on like the side of the bicep. I was and just so going to say... develop that, it'll give you that illusion. Yeah, because theoretically you could train the brachialis, which is also a flexor that... Sh could theoretically give you a little bit more bicep thickness. Now, here's what I like to tell people. I like to tell people, try doing hammer curls. It works that muscle. Also, a lot of people don't do hammer curls. Yeah, I was bicep say, workout. hammer oh, yeah. curls, reverse curls, if you don't have those in your routine, would be a, a great exercise. Or even Zotman curls, throwing those in there. Yeah. So those three movements, I would do that. But this idea of changing the shape of a muscle with exercises is uh, something that people that love clickbait and mm -hmm. to sell you things will will try and do. And the truth is, if you already do reverse curls and hammer curls all the time, and you're very consistent with doing that, then actually picking an exercise that technically isn't for that, that's for the bicep that you never do, will mm -hmm. probably show more thickness yeah. in your bicep. So if you're really into arm training and bicep training in particular, um, here's the things to focus on, right? So you can focus on curls with varying hand position because the hand, and you can see here how it's moving my bicep, affects the bicep. So supinated versus pronated. That also will involve you know brachioradialis, which is here on the forearm, brachialis, which is under the bicep. And then here's the other thing you can focus on, elbow placement when you're doing the exercise. So Exercise with the arm next to your body, preacher curls or spider curls where the elbow's in front of the body. And you can even do uh, Dude, exercises. Dude, chin ups. Well, that's a mass builder, right? Yeah. Curl grip, right? Uh, 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 chin ups. Well, I don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, here. well, really. <laughs> <laughs> you guys keep talking about thickness and whatever. <laughs> yeah. just, well, no, I'm just saying supinated grip, right? More bicep uh, yeah, yeah. activation. Here, here's the thing with all, like, because you can make a case for all these different exercises. And the thing that I'm, I'm just going to keep hammering home is that it's the, the exercise that you don't do. When you want to develop a muscle more, right? Uh, yes, that we've talked about there, there's a, a hierarchy in, in, in exercises, right? As right. far as like, these are more, these are superior to others. But if you do all those superior exercises, you've checked all the boxes for a long time, then simply doing an exercise that your body is unfamiliar yeah, with. They're not good at. Yeah. And you're not good at and, and get good at that exercise is going to show change in development in that area. Mm -hmm. And that goes for any muscle. And so more importantly than you know trying to make the case for this exercise targets this part it's like okay if you train these movements try training a different movement for that and that's that always muscle. been my experience is i'll do this new ex oh wow drag curls let me try that and, oh my god it totally works and then you I just talked about it today with your chest yes a perfect example of that it's yeah like, i bet if i just did that and i right. went to an inclined dumbbell press it'd be like oh my god you know, exactly. it's the same thing